hey guys welcome to today's video i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to back up your whatsapp chat on your google or on your google account but actually we are going to be backing it up on our google drive so um if you have a gmail and you have a google drive on your device let's go ahead and test this out so first i'm going to actually confirm to you that i do not have any backup of um I do not have any backup of WhatsApp on my phone. So I am going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to click on this menu icon and I will go to good, the backup area and it's going to display everything that is already backed up. Now you notice there is no WhatsApp displaying here. That is because I've not backed up my WhatsApp. Now in order for us to back up our WhatsApp, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open this WhatsApp and wait for it to load. You can see the video call, you can see um, the messages and everything that is on this device the images and some videos so we are going to back up all of this in our account so to back it up click on this three dotted icon or the menu icon on the top right hand area and then you click on settings and you notice where it says charts click on charts then go ahead and notice where it says chat backup click on that or tap on that now you notice the last time i backed up which is actually yesterday now to back up you notice where it says google account click on that and then you choose the particular account that you want to back up this is actually going to authenticate if you are doing this for the first time it's going to show you a pop-up that is going to ask you to allow it to do this uh, action so you need to actually allow so this is not the first time i'm doing it that's the reason why i don't have that particular option now if you are done you notice um this area where it says include video i actually selected this um so i'm going to deselect it to select it again make sure you actually have it selected where it says include video select it and also where it says backup using cellular select that also so once you're done go ahead and click on backup now it's going to start loading and then after i finish loading it's going to start backing up you notice right there is actually on 50 percent this is going to do all of this process till it gets to 100 percent so this is actually not going to take a lot of time this is just going to be brief so let's wait for it to complete and then we can move on all right guys so our our um, backup has actually completed after that first phase, you are going to see a backup loading up also on this area. So once it's finished, it's going to display you the exact time that the backup actually happened. You notice it says last backup, 316. And you can actually confirm the time is also 316. Just look at the top of my screen. Now, um, after that has finished, we actually need to confirm if this is backed up. So we are going to go back to the Google Drive have it open if you do not have google drive you can just type in um google.drive.com on your browser do not worry i'm going to show you that so to confirm if our backup is there click on the menu icon and then click on backup you should be able to see the whatsapp backup and also the same time that the backup is there you notice it says 316 right and this is also 316 but guys you cannot open this you can only open it with whatsapp so now the next thing i actually want to do i am going to um i am going to do as if i want to uninstall my whatsapp so i'm actually going to clear the data clearing the data actually means you are removing the um the uh the saved information so i'm going to click on clear data so that it's going to wipe every information on the whatsapp so now if i am opening whatsapp the second time i actually have to log in login means putting in my phone number right so i'm just going to click on forward um, continue and agree and then i'm going to add my phone number right there all right and i'm going to click next so this is going to take a while most times it doesn't actually take any time it just um send the message to you immediately depending on your mobile device though so i do not have the phone i do not have the number on the same phone so it sent it to a different phone so i'm going to enter in the detail sent to me and this particular detail always change all of the time so um, i'm going to enter my verification pin because i have actually allowed or uh, added verification pin so you click on allow 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 and then this is supposed to load up right 
and then it's supposed to load up as a new installation but it's going to load up and ask you to restore your backup now you notice right there my email is already displaying if this is actually a new phone we actually need to log into our email so once you have your email logged in just click on restore backup now this might take some time this might take let's say um 10 to 20 minutes depending on how fast your internet is although this is just 6.9 megabytes so it's going to take a while and most of the times guys um i don't know this actually happens a lot because i've done this process in order for me to understand how it works so most times if it's running um if it's trying to restore your backup on my device it doesn't always start immediately so after once it's on this phase all i need to do is to close the application and then reopen it again so for some weird reason whenever i do that it becomes faster so you notice on this top it says um restore your chart never and then now it's preparing initially it wasn't displaying that so this is actually um weird and most times i actually have to turn off my internet and turn it on before it starts counting down but then just give it like 15 minutes for it to process and then um, I'm going to be back and show you guys the, the next process. All right, guys, so the installation is a success. You can notice it says restore complete. Now, the next thing is to click on next. So um, if you are OK with the detail displayed, just click on next. I'm actually OK with that. So this is going to start initializing. Um, this do not take time. Um, this is going to load up and based on how fast your internet is, it's going to load up and it's going to start and display all of our previous charts. So let's wait for that to complete also and then we'll move on. All right, guys. So you can see our installation is successful and these are my previous messages. These are the messages displaying right there. And then uh, uh, this is also the images. So guys, this is basically it. This is just actually how to um, go about checking or your um, restoring your WhatsApp after you might have backed it up. So if you have any question, please leave it on the comment section. I am going to see you guys on my next video. Stay safe and peace.